So I have some uh, Ryobi tools and they came with 18 volt lithium batteries. And I wanted to be able to use these batteries with some of my other tools that are not Ryobi. And uh, I wanted to make an adapter for it. So I took a pill bottle that was roughly the same size as the top part here. And I put it in boiling water for uh, a few minutes until the plastic became uh, pliable. And then I took the pill bottle and pushed it on top of the Ryobi battery post until um, it wouldn't go down any further and what happened was uh, some air pocket uh, was created wouldn't let me push down and the plastic cooled and uh, it basically formed on top of it and I couldn't get it off so what I had to do was I had to cut a little slit over here to free the battery from uh, the pill bottle. You can see the crack ended up traveling all the way to the top, so I ended up drilling a hole to stop it from uh, progressing further. This is a pretty snug fit. Uh, to attach the wire, what I did was I took a couple of these posts, uh, attached the wire to them, figured out uh, on the pill bottle where I need to make a little bit of slits so I could uh, push terminal in the bottle uh, you might be able to see in there uh, there's a couple of them and uh, they're hooked up to this wire which I ended up uh, connecting to an XT60 connector but with the XT60 connector connected um, I'm able to get that 18 volt so here I have my multimeter and uh, we should see anywhere between 18 to 20 volts depending on how charged my battery is right now so let me see if I can do this one-handed. As you can see, we got 19.8 volts 